G'day, and uh, welcome back to that new Hobby High, Ultramarines from Scratch. It's a, uh, a basic channel where a complete ignoramus on the world of 40k and Warhammer and bloody uh, Horus Heresy slightly learns about Warhammer, Horus Heresy and 40k. And uh, I am a very slow learner, so it's taken, what, nearly 40 episodes and I still don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So uh, it's been a good week. Every week's been good. I've, it's a rare that I have a bad week. I have failed in my task to try and clear off the desk. Uh, as I, in between clearing off the desk and finishing projects, I immediately went straight in and fucking started some others. So uh, as you can notice, some of the stuff is gone. The little uh, the plane, the, uh, the BN2 Kate with 72 scale aircraft, that's done. That's hang, hanging up from the ceiling in the daughter's room, and it looks amazing. I was using that one as a fucking test bed for a couple of metal paints that I want to use on the uh, Gilliman, because I want his actual power sword to actually be shiny metal finish. And this paint here on a gloss, gloss back black undercoat looks exactly like metal. I am so impressed with this. With a light blue, uh, light blue wash around the freaking in the in the, in in the like the crevices, that looks Mickey Mouse. So I'm very happy with that. I did try that one. It's quite good, but not as good as this one. I want to get some. I want to try some of the AK versions as well, but I'll get to them eventually. So the the plane that's away. The uh, Thousand Suns. They're um they're finished. Hang on, they're just over here, and they look. Adequate. I think they look okay. You know, for, for soldiers that aren't mine, they uh, they got little lightning, blue lightning feet on the white sands, you know, because they're magic. Um, they've got three coats of brass under that candy apple red. Uh, all the highlights are blue on white. Green eyes, they look nice. I'm happy with them. And they are off to see their uh, owner on Thursday, where I will play them using... These we're doing a four thousand five hundred point game, thousand suns versus uh, ultramarines, but these are coming along like uh, oh they are so close to being done. A little bit of grey highlight and some muddying up, and uh, I reckon these boxy little buggers look absolutely fucking amazing. I have to make sure, like because they're uh, they'll all be one unit. I have to find out whether they uh, whether they can shoot at different targets or whether or if in one unit they all have to shoot the same target. I'm pretty sure they all have to shoot at the same target. But what I'm planning on doing with this is using the shatter uh, thing, the strength eight, the straight line, strength eight mortars, but actually sticking the uh, Praetor with them with stoic defender so they get pinning. I think that'll be quite a dangerous little unit with that. Uh, but yeah, now I've put them all, put all the decals on. They look good. I realised I don't know what any of the decals actually mean. I know what's I mean. You have a look at the sheet. Half of them look like they actually mean something. What does that mean? Do you know what that means? Fact if I know. What does that mean? Oh shit! Just dropped me phone like a fucking hey. There we go. What does that mean? What does that one mean? It means something. I don't know what it is. I still got the shoulder pad, the shoulder ones to go on use it but uh, yeah I know that means heavy support but yeah they're coming along all right I reckon they're 90% done and uh, this is where it gets bad because they're nearly done I got rid of the plane I got rid of the thousand suns and then I thought and I was going to start doing the breaches and I thought you know what I got I sort of really want to build something I don't really want to paint something so I went and made myself a unit of 10 man melters because my 10 man the only other special one that I've got special weapons is a 10 minute or rotor cannon squad which are great for laying down fire but even on a plus one to hit with the ultramarine special rule they're only doing about five wounds on normal troops uh around which is you know it might and which may doesn't actually guarantee them being pinned so they're not the most useful so i decided with the melters so i can at least put them in a rhino race them up maybe blot a tank the other interesting thing is I got this. I got a Xiphon fighter with an X. Yeah. Now this is my first fast attack because I don't have the bits and bobs to make the Locturus Storm Squad. Now this has already been shot up. 
because there's so many fucking holes that have had to party with green stuff. Uh, it's just, it's, it's in a shocking state, like sinks in the resin. Uh, the gap's not filling in correctly. So uh, I'll, uh, I'm, I'm work, slowly working on it and making it all plumb. But this is, have a look at this. This is what I'm thinking here. Now, it's, this is the standard way the wings are supposed to go. They're supposed to swoop forward very menacingly like that. And that's that's how it's supposed to look. Oh fuck, sorry, like that. Yeah? That's it. But what if I was to tell you, would it be tech heresy, which is a term I've recently learnt from friggin, uh, from the Mechanicus, tech heresy, to actually want to put it together like this? Does that not look sleeker? Does that not look so much better? I mean, it doesn't look as brutish and forthright as the uh, wing swept forward, but it looks faster. It actually looks like a fucking interceptor because, you know, they obviously don't give a shit about aerodynamics or any of that when they built these things. But I think that looks so much better. And, you know, I know I want to build an accurate army for uh, for Kalth, or for what happened to Kalth, but is there any... I mean, it's mine. I should be able to put those wings on backwards. And make it and make it because it's mine. I want to make it look sleek, but I know I've got to make it sort of follow the rules. And some people might get the knickers in a twist if I do it incorrectly. Oh, tell me what you think, please. Tell me what you think, because I'm fucking stuck on that one. Anyway, that'll take a good bit of cleaning up to do, and uh, but uh, it's coming along nicely. So this, that, so yeah, I'm back to where I'm started. I'm back to bloody four, five, six projects on the desk. Uh, what else have I got? Okay, so I have been breaking models, getting them to and from the bloody uh, bloody game club. Every time I load them in the car, I'll snap off a Vexilla or a radio thing or a gun will fall off because I don't know how to transport them. Some of the fellas had cases. Some of the fellas just put them in a box. Uh, I've got currently my method of... Let's just get over here. Is the old Focke Wolf box with the towel, two tanks in the Focke Wolf box. Actually, I don't know where the fucking guns are for that one. That's a concern. Oh, there they are. All right, and underneath the original Heresy box. Shit, stay balanced. There we go. The original Heresy box and uh, Rabute's box full of 20 Marines all packed with plastic between them. And this, under a shirt, under a shirt, I have my leads. Yeah? And there's two layers of that. And when they're not when they're not in the box, they go in there and they're all nicely sorted. Okay. There's my heavy weapons. Got some other bits and bobs, some other projects in there. But I'm um yeah. So I've ordered a, a, a box online. That hopefully will relieve me from snapping them every goddamn time I get them out of the bloody, get them into the car and want to take them somewhere. Jesus, nearly lost the fell blade. It nearly just rolled off the top, slid off the table. Anyway, uh, that's me in a nutshell. Um, trying to get off, pro trying to get removed projects, end up creating more. Backwards bloody battle. But uh, at the very least, uh, it, 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 the, the army slowly but surely grows. Anyway, um, oh yeah, and uh, the ongoing battle between Bubs and Cat has had a final victor, and it was the Cat. Bubs has given up and has decided to sit elsewhere. Uh, but that's all for me. Um, sorry for the short video. It's a bit rushed. I've got to pick up Bubs from uh, daycare. Love the lot of you. Just give the missus a kiss, and I'll catch you all later. Cheerio.